get you? season after I already got the garden going I won a Mr. Landscaper all-in-one sprinkler, sprinkler kit and it's the premium kit and not only did they send the kit but they also sent a second timer because there's a kit timer with the kit and big hose to do the watering so like I said I wanted two years ago and it was season had already started so I didn't have time to put it up then and then last year I just didn't get around to, uh, to putting it up and so now I'm going to install it here on the front micro garden So it looks like a mouse decided to set up shop in my box. Anyways, in the box, like I said, you get tools to uh, set up your uh, system and there's a instruction video but it is pretty straightforward all you're doing is you run your your main hose and then connect the little hose into the main hose and that goes to your sprinkler and this one looks like it sprays all the way around maybe and it even has a, a shut off valve right before the sprinkler so you can shut off individual ones so you can actually you don't have to get just a full kit. You can get individual pieces. As an example shown on here, spray, different type of spray, drip. I mean, this is what drip irrigation is all about is, is, is this, where it just comes right out of the little hose. Uh, different type of feeders, different types of drips. And of course, your uh, different controllers for uh Good thing about having the catalog, you can look on here and see what type of uh, drip is these are. So the orange tab, orange with the green thing, that is a 320 degree, 180 degree, 165 degree. You know, it gives you a six foot diameter, five foot radius. Um, so, that's what that's what those are for you have tool your tool here that's for uh, putting the hole in the larger tube make your life easier um, and nice little sharp thing connectors for connecting your main hose to the uh, to the fat hose, the hose to hose. Junction for splitting your, your larger hose. Uh, you got a bunch of stake tie downs for your hose so you can keep it under control.
and more ends for connections. Different sets of heads. You want to change the head style. Junction for your smaller hose. Another connector from the faucet to your hose. But if you have a timer, you can just do it that way. Once you have the connection on your hose. Step one <coughs> is to attach timer. <coughs> now I'm just going to use the um, the, ba the basic timer that came with it for now. But I will be setting up the the other timer controller one uh, later. Next, backflow valve, it's hose to hose thing. And next is thing to connect to the main big hose. Put that in here. There's a little arrow back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's the setting. 15 minute intervals. So I'm just gonna set and do off. Or I can Set it to 120. This is off after so many minutes. So after 120 minutes, this will go off. So maybe we'll just set this. Oh, I guess you can't. There it goes. Push a little bit. We're going to do it for 30 minutes. And then it'll be off. Take our half inch hose, slide it up in here. And then screw it down. Check for some leaks. Looks good so far. Now, let's lay out the hose. Use some uh, stakes to keep it down and out of the way. You end the hose. You simply use one of these. It's a crimper. Put the hose in one end, crimp it, bring back the other end.
Now we need to take the little puncher here and make some holes for our hoses. Why are you having that by the water? Having what by the water, sweetie? Uh, your camera. I turned off the water. What is that orange thing? You got that orange thing under your camera. Well, it's right here. No, no, because I turned the water off, sweetie. I have one if you turn it on and you, if your camera's still there and you turn it off. In order to swap out the heads, if you want a different head, mm. these unscrew. Screw in, screw back out. And you can pop out the orange head. And we'll try this 90 degree. This, so the green, this goes in here like that. Pops out. So with this blue one screws right in like this green one does. With the blue one screwed in, doing a 90 degree angle. It's somewhat similar, but it is smaller than angle than that orange one is. But everything is getting covered, even down to the flowers down there. But there's don't want to just spray everything. There's always another way to do it. So what you can do, if you want to go directly to some place, poke a hole, Catherine Doe. Put in connector. And you could just drip that right there. Now, I just happen to also have another drip irrigation system that I used in a previous house, but I had extra parts. So I can just use that right there. So the other system fits right in and should make it easy for getting everything wet. So that's the Mr. Mr. Mr.